Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Jolene on the ukulele. All right, uh, you need an A minor chord, fourth string, second fret. This is your intro. I didn't bother with that crazy uh, finger picking part. Uh, I'm going to leave that out, <laughs> leave that to the guitarist. Um, all right, so you're just going to go down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. That's your strum for the A minor for the long. We're going to do two different patterns. That's the long pattern, okay? And you can just do that a couple times for your intro. Um, you could uh, probably like four times, actually. Really, that's all it is. We are not in the key that she's in, by the way. Um, if uh, I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes. I make, this is the easy way to do it, this is the, the first way. I'll show you about like three different ways. This is the easiest way. A minor, uh, then you stay on the A minor when she starts singing Jolene, Jolene. That's the chorus of the song. That's an A minor to a C, to a G, to an A minor, to a G, back to A minor. You start again, A minor, C. your whole chorus okay so that's an A minor which is a short pattern this time all it is is down 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 up so it's the first four moves in your long pattern okay and uh, I'll show you the long pattern again if you if, if I didn't do it <laughs> I don't know if I even did it yet so uh, the short pattern is down 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 up and then you're gonna go to a C chord which is the first string third fret same thing short pattern then a G chord short pattern. The G chord is the third and the first string second fret, second string third fret. And then you're going to go to the A minor again. This time the long pattern is down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And uh, then you go to the G chord, you do the same thing, long pattern. Back to the A minor. This time two long patterns. Then you start all over again, okay? So here's the chorus. A minor. To a C, to a G, A minor long pattern, to a G long pattern, A minor long pattern twice. And then you repeat all that, and that's your chorus. So you do that all the way through twice, and that's one chorus. Okay? Uh, there is a little bit in the Jolene part, the, the chorus part, uh, there's, we're in 4-4 four, four time. And then the A minor and the C, they're sharing that measure. And then, but then that next measure is a is a measure of two four time. It's it's just a G chord for a short pattern, which throws everything off if you really think about it. And then when you get back to the A minor, it's back to four four time for the rest of the the chorus. And then that just keeps repeating. So there's a measure of two four in there um, for that G chord. That's that's a little strange. Okay. But uh, other than that, everything's fine. <laughs> and then the verse is the same exact chords, uh, but they get rid of that 2-4 measure. So it's, uh, this is your beauty is beyond compare, okay? So it's A minor to a C, G to the A minor, and then the G's long, and then the A minor twice long. And then that repeats. simply gotten rid of that 2-4 bar that you, you know I wouldn't even recognize it. if I wasn't sitting down penciling it out trying to figure out what, how she was doing it I would not even have caught on to that 2-4 bar so uh, the verse uh, repeats that pattern twice so that's an A minor and a C short pattern G minor and A minor both short so this time that A minor is not the long pattern that was in the chorus okay but then when you get to the second G in the verse it's a long pattern again okay have I confused you enough <laughs> So, that's basically the whole song. Uh, it does an intro, which is just the A minor over and over again, then the chorus, and that's the Jolene, Jolene part, and then you got a verse followed by another verse, then you got a chorus, then another verse, then a chorus, and then the outro is just A minor with that finger picking pattern over and over again that's cool. 
Okay, that's Jolene. Hopefully that's uh, clear enough. Now, if you want to be in Dolly's key for some reason, if you want to play along with the video, uh, you could use the same chords, just put the capo at the fourth fret, if you can squeeze it in there, and then it's an A minor. Ooh, that don't sound right. It's quite a shock. Now we're in her key. Sounds too high for me. But if you want to be in her key, that's the easiest way to do it, uh, is with the capo. Um, if you want the bar chords, all you have to do is, uh, she's in C-sharp minor, you just bar the 4th fret and hook uh, your finger on the 4th string 6th fret, that's a C-sharp minor, and what would she go to next? So it's like some sort of E chord, so, so E would be the 1st string 2nd fret, 4-3 uh, and 2 at the 4th fret, to a B chord, and the B chord is you bar the um, top two strings, second fret, a third string, third fret, fourth string, fourth fret. But you can see how hard those chords are. C sharp minor to an E to a B, back to C sharp minor, and then the B, C sharp minor. Okay? those bar chords for it too if, if you if you'd prefer to do it that way if you want to be in her key uh, if you hear it that way or if you, you like to sing it that way okay uh, any questions comments uh, play more thanks